Welcome to tonight's edition of the Business Beat, sponsored by Royal Fidelity. Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Alta Viz Mornings. Let's take a look at what's making business news today. Commonwealth Brewery Limited shareholders got good news when the company recently held its first annual general meeting at the British Colonial Hilton Hotel, learning that the company earned a $4 million increase in total revenue and a net profit of $17.3 million, results that allowed the totally debt-free company to pay dividends of $0.58 cents a share. Now, despite that competition attempting to nip at its heels, Commonwealth Brewery remains the front-runner in the nation's bustling spirits industry with 70-plus labels, 380 staff members, and a major recycling cycling operation. Bahamas Financial Services Board officials recently completed a busy eight-day schedule of events and meetings with business professionals in Switzerland and the United Kingdom. The tour of major financial centers began in Zurich, continued in Geneva, and concluded in London. In international business, unemployment in the Eurozone hit 11.1% in May, while the downturn in its manufacturing sector continued. Over 17 million people are now out of work, marking the highest level since records began in 1995. Remember, you can send us an email or join us on www.znsbahamas.com or become our friend on ZNS's official Facebook page. And that will end tonight's edition of The Business Beat, sponsored by Royal Fidelity. I'm Alta Viz Thanks so much for watching.